I hope all of you understood the concept of resources. Now let us go ahead with the classification of resources. Resources are classified into natural resources, human resources and human made resources. What are natural resources? The resources which are obtained from nature and are used without much modification. Like water is a natural resource. Like, right, we can utilize water without much modification only. Human beings are considered as most important resource who can utilize the natural substances and can turn them into an economically important resource. Now, human made, human made resources are the product of human beings. The resources which are created by them for their own benefits for their own needs for example buildings mobile phone that we are utilizing obviously it is created by human beings only now let us go ahead with the further classification of natural resources natural resources are subdivided on the basis of origin on the basis of utility on the basis of development and on the basis of distribution now let us go ahead with the explanation of resources on the basis of origin. On the basis of origin, the resources are subdivided into biotic resources and abiotic resources. What are biotic resources? The resources which are obtained from biosphere and comprised of living things are referred as biotic resources. For example, animal, for example, plants, all are referred as biotic resources. What are abiotic resources then? Abiotic resources are the resources which are composed of non-living things. For example, rock, for example, minerals, all are considered as uh, abiotic resources. Number two, now let us classify the resources on the basis of utility. Now on the basis of utility, the resources are subdivided into renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Now what is renewable resources? The resources which are available to us when from the time when history actually started. We can say that these are the resources which are available in abundance and we can utilize it again and again. It will not get deplete, neither it create pollution. This can be also called as sustainable resources. For example, solar energy. Now what are non-renewable resources then? Non-renewable resources are the resources which are not available in abundance. Rather, they are available in a very limited stock. So once they are getting destroyed, once we are over-utilizing it and it is getting depleted, it will take millions of years to form back again. So these are called as exhaustible resources. For example, petroleum. We know that petroleum takes millions of years to form and we, you, we are over-utilizing petroleum. So we need to control the use of petroleum so that this resource should not get depleted. Now let us go ahead with the classification of resource on the basis of development. On the basis of development, the resources are subdivided into actual resources and potential resources. Now what are actual resources? Very, very important. Actual resources means the resources whose entire quantity is known to us. The technology which is really important for utilizing this resource is already available to us and this resource currently we are utilizing. For example, wind energy, we know where we can get wind energy. Like for example, in Rajasthan, we are utilizing this resource for the time being because we got the technology to use the wind energy. Now what is a potential resource then? Potential resource means a resource which is like whose exact quantity is not known to us. The location is not known to us exactly where it is located or at what quantity it may be located at a particular place. Also the technology which is important to utilize this, tech, this resource as of now it is not available and very importantly these resources cannot be utilized at present but they do have the potential to be utilized at the 
future. For example, uranium, which is found in Ladakh, so it can be utilized in the future when the technology will be available to utilize this resource. An actual resource can turn, can end up, but a potential resource can turn into an actual resource in the near future. Now, let us go ahead with the classification of resource on the basis of distribution. Now, on the basis of distribution, the resources are classified into ubiquitous resources and localized resources. Now, what are ubiquitous resources? The resources which are found everywhere. Air, water, sunlight, which are found everywhere. These are referred as ubiquitous resources. Now, what are the localized resources? Localized resources means the resources which are found in a particular locality. For example, coal, for example, iron ore, which can only be found in particular locality. Obviously, you cannot find coal right uh, at beside your house. Coal can be found where? Uh, like in, uh, we all know, like in Mayurbanj district, like in Rani Gonch, we can find coal and that there this coal can be utilized for mining purpose. Now, so let us recapitulate the whole classification of resources once again. So, resources are classified into three natural resources, human resources, human made resources. Now, these natural resources are again subdivided on the basis of origin, biotic and abiotic. Biotic means living and abiotic means non living resources. On the basis of utility, renewable and non renewable. Renewable means resources which are sustainable, which are available in abundance and non-renewable means resources which are not sustainable, rather they are exhaustible and they are available in limited stock. On the basis of development, actual resources, the resources which are utilized at present because the technology is available for its utilization and it can end up at any time. And what is potential resource? The resource which whose quantity is not known to us at present we are not utilizing but we do have a potential to satisfy our need in the near future on the basis of distribution ubiquitous which is found everywhere like air localized which is found at a particular only at a particular place so i hope all of you understood the classification of resources until the next video go through the classification of resources and the concept of resources I will provide you with a PDF and along with the PDF there will be some assignments there will be the module in that module there will, you will get the differentiation of biotic abiotic renewable non renewable actual potential ubiquitous and localized which are important and some home assignments are also there for you so now I'm signing off don't forget to read what I taught you people today have a safe day and stay at home and don't be mischievous.